just listening to this. So yeah, let's listen to that last uh, that last line there. Yeah, I think that works. So, sirs and madams, ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, this is a recap of composing a ballad in C full tonality. This is part twelve, melodic shape and melodic rhythm. We began with our game plan napkin diagram here. And we said we want to focus now on the shape of the melodies and make sure variation three has the same shape as variation one, which we did. We had to make an adjustment in one row and we got that done. I want to make sure variation two had the same melodic shapes and that that happened and what we meant as an example is here in phrase three in the composition variation one has this kind of a pattern da -da 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 -da. and then three and two are da -da 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 -da. they they start a little higher but then they go through what we call a tiger trap and they end up so they have the same overall pattern, shape, as we called it. Then we wanted to move into the rhythm. And we said we're going to start by putting a kick drum, which is really a bass drum, in there. And then down the road, we're looking at um, adding snare and concert snare, or replacing And we used a, a drum kit example to um, illustrate our point. Here we have a kick drum. And then if we were to do a traditional thing, we'd have a kick drum. But we don't think we're going to do that exactly. But it did give us a model. And that's what we did. We created a second score to work with called the rhythm and drum model and we took all the melody from um, the full composition pasted it down here and then we muted that and then we turned it into a rhythm a melodic rhythm so instead of da 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 it goes da 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 and then we added the bass just to emphasize da, 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 like that. And then we experimented with 1 and 2B patterns. And the most interesting thing keeps occurring. Wherever have we, we have these dyad passing notes, ever since our first variation, we've had those passing notes. Um, we modified the drum pattern in there. It's a handoff, we said, between the first three lines and the second three lines of the composition. So over here in the first variation, which is our model for everything, Here we're going to solo we'll solo the melody there. This is what the melody alone is. Just up here start at the beginning. And then over here. We solo the melody. The 
let's see the melody over here this is not the melody anymore this is the melody rhythm as we called it and it sounds like we hope so hear that difference of course you do but let's just remind ourselves a concert bass drum which supports the melody rhythm and then we experimented until we figured out where to add a beat compared to the first uh, phrase or take out a beat and tass it and then at the handoff area which is always is down here in the in the, in the dyad passing dyads uh, we have two other slightly changed patterns well, actually we only have one right in here and then we and that emphasized the the change the handoff that had just occurred occurred here. It, it supported the handoff and then went right back to the bass 1 and the bass 2B patterns. So let's listen to the whole melodic rhythm with bass drum alone. Sirs and madams, thank you as always for your time and attention and interest. We will work on this further in our next stream. And as always, wherever you are, wherever you are, keep on streaming.